Sylvania tabletop color set take four I believe and this thing has been sitting long enough um, the water and vinegar have not been uh, not been cutting it so an opportunity came up that I'd like to try and let me first say I need to do a better job narrating these videos sometimes I leave things open to interpretation that are clear to me but as to what's actually going on in the video but when I look at the comments I, I realize that people are way off from what was actually going on so I need to do a better job narrating these videos if not getting to the point of doing text overlays and voiceovers this is a Sylvania CRT cataract removal part four something this thing has been sitting in uh, water for about the past three months and I really need to try and push this project ahead because it's kind of holding me back from other other TV projects I want to get into and it really appears that the the thing has just really deteriorated in the past month or three weeks and if I pull on this You can kind of see there's water in there moving around. You see that. So there's water trapped all in this thing. See right there. As I pull on it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple chopsticks in here, here and here, and just try and apply some gentle pressure and then put a trash bag over it and hopefully the sun will come out today and maybe we could get it to pop off. We've got four chopsticks in here. Just very gently pushing up on this thing. They're in pretty tight, but uh, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to force it. You can see it looks like it's disconnected back to here. I don't know. Let's let it sit for a few hours. I am wearing my riot helmet face shield and staying away from it. I should probably have some more safety equipment on it on because these are not like the roundies. These the the pressure is uneven. They're not a, a circle. So the the longer side of course has more pressure and when they don't have a band on them uh they can explode and they've exploded on people big time there's more more uh, records of the the rectangulars exploding than the round ones exploding so if you're doing a rectangular you really got to take some precautions and I should probably fully be covered with gloves and everything it's just I'm, I'm trying to go so slow on it Looks like it's moving back a little bit. It's okay, we got all day, there's no rush. Hopefully the sun will go come out. I'll throw a black plastic trash bag on it. We'll get it nice and hot and it'll just pop right off. Okay, only really into this uh, maybe about 30 minutes and it's coming along nicely. You can kind of hear it here. So it seems like it's broken away back to about here. Well, sun's coming out, so and it's pretty hot today. 
and these things still feel pretty tight so we'll just let it keep doing it I might put some tape on here just in case it breaks loose it doesn't slide off and break well this kind of sucks the uh The display died on my uh, JVC camera. This, uh, this camera has really been at the core of just about all of these videos for a long, long time. This has been one really good machine. Um, I'm sure it's time has come though. It's, it's uh, probably produced more hours of YouTube video than just about any any other one of these things so uh, whatever someone will go oh I see you I see you yeah all right well you see the old flip camera there which, uh, this is what we're gonna have to go back to for a while anyway it's just after noon now and this thing is super hot and uh, as you can see, this uh, this stuff has become like a jelly in here. And this is seems like it's almost ready to pull off. You can, but this is this is where you got to be careful because this is where you can get impatient and break it. So I'm. I'm just gonna look at that. I'm just gonna continue to kind of take my time and keep the pressure on because this, I don't believe this right here has unglued itself. Maybe it has. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Anyway, we'll give it another hour or so sun has really softened it up. In fact, I would say this is this is just about ready to lift up. Let me get my helmet and we'll we'll pull on it. Okay, so here we go. Just take this off. I put this on to uh, to basically assist in case it popped off. Well, I wasn't here. Let's see. Oh, what a sticky, nasty mess. All right, now to get it into the shade and let it cool off so I can clean it. Got to clean all of this crap off of here and hopefully Maybe lacquer thinner will take it off. I don't know. I have to play with that and see what. Because it's got to be sp totally spotless in between, um, in between the two lenses, in between the CRT and the lens. All right, I'm going to assume this thing is recording, even though I can't see the display. So. Um, I just have to wave it around a lot and hope I get the coverage I want shooting blind. So I've cleaned that all up with a razor blade. I used a uh, good old Windex and some lacquer thinner to kind of scan that and hope I get it. Uh, cleaned this up real well. 
this is um, not like the RCA where it's a, a smoked glass. This is totally clear, so this is going to look kind of weird. But anyway, the next step will be to put some double stick tape down, four pieces, and silicone. Let me see if I even got the silicone. And again, I can't tell what I'm videotaping, but we'll just assume that I'm videotaping that. You can see this double stick tape there, there, there. So next thing is some silicone. I don't know if I have enough, but whatever. This is a quick and dirty job. Uh, I cleaned that and then I used the air compressor to make sure there was nothing in there. No little grains of lint from the paper towel. Because anything, once you seal it in there, it's in there for life. Alright, here it is. Silicone all the way around. I know it's white, but you won't be able to see it with the shadow mask thing the bezel, whatever you want to call it, shadow mask is inside there, but the front of the TV will cover most of this up. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I'm not that worried about it. This, this is not a great of a job. I could see some streaking on the inside of the, the glass, but I'm not going to worry about it because uh, this is mostly just a demonstration video and a uh, or whatever, just uh, how to take the cataract off. So as you won't notice this, this is in the sun, so whatever. Anyway, uh, the next video when I get the camera thing sorted out, we'll be putting the thing back together and seeing if we could get the TV to work and then moving on to the next project.